Welcome to English Radio Barranquilla. Bienvenidos a English Radio Barranquilla. Last class, we talked about food. Today, we'll talk about culture and history. Hello. 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 Hello, everyone. How are you? Last week, we talked all about typical food from Colombia and the Caribbean coast. This week, my mom is coming to Barranquilla to visit me. I'm so excited because I can take her to so many fun and interesting places in the city. I'm here at the airport with my cousin, Jose, to pick her up. Her flight just arrived and they'll be getting off the plane soon. Jose, I'm so excited to see my mom. See? You're telling me. I haven't seen Tia Maria in almost a year. Really? It's been that long? That's so crazy. Yeah. The last time we saw each other was last year for Christmas. I miss her. Your mom is so nice. Well, she misses you. She told me she couldn't wait to see her favorite nephew. <laughs> But I am I'm her only nephew. <laughs> yes, well, you're still her favorite. Do you have any plans for when she's here in Barranquilla? Are you going to do anything special? Well, tomorrow we're going to the Ventana del Mundo, the window to the world. And then the Casa del Carnaval after that. Oh, ho, ho, le va a encantar. Your mom loves Carnaval. Yes, any reason to dance. She told me she always dreamed of being the Carnaval Queen when she was a kid. Oof, la reina? She would make a perfect queen. That's true. She used to always dance in the parades at her school. Mi linda, how are you? Mom! Oh my goodness! Hi! How are you? Hi, mi niña. You look fantastic. Barranquilla suits you. You look so happy. I'm so happy to see you, Mom. Hi. Y mi Jose, ¿cómo estás? How are you? Muy bien, tía. How are you? Tired. Hungry, but so happy to be here. Oh, well, let's get some food. Beto, the taxi driver, is waiting outside for us. Are you ready? Yes. Can you two help me with my suitcases? No problem, Mom. Ah, what is in here? Rocks? Why is your suitcase so heavy? Clothes, of course. I need to look good for all the photos you're going to take of me here in Barranquilla. <laughs> Tia, you're the same as always. Now, where are we going to eat? I was thinking we could eat lunch at Cucayo, so you can have some typical Colombian food. And then we're going to take a tour of the city. Excellent. Is this the taxi? Hola, buenos dias. How are you, ma'am? Good morning. You must be Miss Linda's mom, yes? She talks about you all the time. All good things, I hope. Of course. Are you ready? Let me help you put your suitcase in the trunk. Everybody hop in. I'm hungry too. Beto, let's go to the Cucayo on Calle 85, please. No problem. The airport looks so nice. It's different from what I remember. Oh yes, the airport was recently remodeled. Do you know what is called the Ernesto Cortizos International Airport? No, why? Ernesto Cortizos was a famous pilot and a pioneer in aviation back in the early 19s. He was born in Barranquilla. That's interesting. It looks like a big airport from what I saw. Yes, it's actually considered one of the top five largest airports in Colombia. Jose, tell me, is this Barranquilla? It's been a long time since I've been here. Well, Actually, Tia, this is a smaller city called Soledad. It's famous for its butifarra, and there are some great champeta dancers from Soledad. Uh, Lizani is from Soledad, and she taught Shakira how to dance champeta for the 2020 Super Bowl in the United States. We'll be in Barranquilla soon. Ah, okay. This freeway is so much bigger than I remember it. See, sí, this is the Circunvalar. It's a highway that surrounds most of Barranquilla. How long does it take to get to the northern part of the city from Soledad? Sin trancón? Without too much traffic? Maybe a half hour or 45 minutes. Okay, good. I'm so ready for lunch. Me too. Me three. 
Activity 1. Now it's time to complete Activity 1. Ahora es tiempo de completar la actividad 1. Imagine you are going on a trip to a new city. What should you pack in your suitcase with you? Imagínate que vas de viaje a una nueva ciudad. ¿Qué empacarías en tu maleta contigo? Do you have any recommendations for traveling? What should you do before going to a new city? ¿Tienes algunas recomendaciones de viajes? ¿Qué deberías hacer antes de viajar a una nueva ciudad? Melinda, is that your alarm? Uh, oh, yeah. I set an alarm to wake up early today. Early? Si ya son las ocho, mi niña. Mom, you know I'm not a morning person. ¿Y con el colegio? How do you wake up early for class? That's different. Today is a Saturday. Are you already ready? Yes, of course. I made you breakfast. It's on the kitchen table. Oh, yum. Thank you. Now tell me, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to take a tour of the city with a tour guide. I think you'll really enjoy it. Yes, but where are we going? No, that's a surprise. Oh, it's Jose. Hello? Hey, good morning, Linda. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you ready for today? Uh, yes, I'm ready, but Belki told me she can come today. She says she's very sorry, but she's sending her co-worker to give us a tour. Oh, okay. No problem. I'll call Beto to let him know that he should pick us up soon. Good. The tour guide will meet us at the Casa de Carnaval. Sounds great. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Goodbye. Hello! Welcome to the Casa de Carnaval. Carnaval is a famous celebration that is known all over the world. What makes the Carnaval in Barranquilla so special are our unique traditions and the unique characters that are represented. Oh wow! Look at all these costumes! Here you can see different images and costumes of various characters such as La Reina, El Rey Momo, La Marimonda, La Negrita Puloy and El Torito. I love those characters. My favorite thing is to watch the comparsas where everyone is dancing. During Carnival is when the city really comes alive. People will dance and sing in the streets and throw cornstarch in the air. <laughs> and don't forget the spuma. Carnival is a time to have fun and enjoy being with your friends and family. Quien lo vive es quien lo goza. This is fantastic, Melinda. You have to try on this headdress. This hat is so heavy. How do people dance with this on? Allow me to show you. Woo! Go Jose! Go Jose! Yeah! He looks great dancing with that on. Wow, great job! How did you learn to dance like that? Us barranquilleros, well, llevamos el baile en nuestra sangre. We have the dancing gene in our blood. I guess so. You have to teach me how to dance like that someday. Of course, it would be my pleasure. Are you ready to go and see the Ventana del Mundo? A glass monument sponsored by the company Technoglass, which was founded here in Barranquilla? Now it's time to complete activity two. Do you enjoy carnival? Yes or no? Why? Disfrutas el carnaval? Sí o no? Por qué? What's your favorite part about celebrating carnival in Barranquilla? ¿Cuál es tu parte favorita de celebrar carnaval en Barranquilla? If you don't celebrate carnival, what do you like to do instead? Si no celebras el carnaval, ¿qué te gusta hacer? Wow, what a wonderful week with you, Melinda. I had an amazing time. Aw, me too, Mom. It was so great to see you. We did so much. 
la casa del carnaval, la ventana del mundo, el malecón, walking through el prado, visiting Playa Salgar, watching the soccer game at Estadio Metropolitano. It reminded me of all the things I really love about Barranquilla. Yes, it was so much fun. I'm so glad we could experience that together. I really love living here in Barranquilla. I'm so happy for you. You look so happy. I'm proud of you that you decided to move to Colombia. There are so many beautiful places to visit here. And people are so kind. I agree. I'm really happy living here. I'm going to miss you so much, though. I don't want you to go back to New York. I'll miss you too. But don't worry. We'll see each other soon. And there will be so many more things for you to show me. Now it's time to complete Activity 3. What's your favorite episode of English Radio Barranquilla? And why? ¿Cuál es tu episodio favorito de English Radio Barranquilla y por qué? We asked some people about their favorite activities during Carnival, and this is what they said. Hi everyone, I'm Eileen Miloria, and I'm from Barranquilla. Of course, I enjoy and love with all my heart celebrating Carnival. And my favorite part about celebrating it is spending and having a good time with my friends and family. I also like to dance when I have the time on Carnivals, and I love watching the different dances. Las comparsas are amazing. You get really excited with them. I do. Thank you. Now, let's listen to our special guest. Hello, everyone. My name is Luz. Last February, I went to Barranquilla to visit my family after almost 10 years. I can't really describe all the emotions. I was feeling the moment the flight attendant informed us that we were about to land in Barranquilla, that we were about to land at Ernesto Cortizo's airport. I wanted to cry because I was happy. I was smiling because I was happy. My whole body wanted to dance because I was happy. Just gazing at the city from the sky was amazing, shivering because I knew I was home. And the first thing I wanted to do was eat our unique food, eat a piece of pollo de mazorca and cheese, AKA matrimonio, have a glass of corroso juice and just sit down in the front yard with my family, looking at the neighbors and talking to everybody because that's the Barranquilla style. As far as neighborhoods go, I of course recognize Barrio Abajo. Everyone knows Barrio Abajo if you've been to Barranquilla. It's one of the most famous neighborhoods and there's lots of culture there. When I first arrived in Barranquilla, I lived in Villa Santos. Villa Santos is one of those neighborhoods that has a lot of residential complexes or conjuntos residenciales. However, I wanted a more Barranquillero experience. I wanted to live with a family and also experience some of the holidays in a neighborhood with more of a family environment. So I moved to a neighborhood in La Playa called Adelita de Char. Another really cool neighborhood I remember is Las Flores. So Las Flores is up in the northern part of the city, next to the Magdalena River. Because of this, it has a lot of fish restaurants with beautiful views of the river. Another really popular kind of neighborhood that we have in the United States is suburbs. Suburbs are these neighborhoods on the edge of the city where houses tend to look alike. The houses are usually new and they're very nice sometimes. These are very popular neighborhoods for families to live because they're newer houses and the neighborhoods are generally safe. Thank you, Alex. Si desean aprender más sobre el inglés con el profesor Alex Baer, Pueden encontrar unos videos informativos en YouTube con Bear English, 
B-A-R-E. Y también en TikTok. Bye. 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 Thank you for listening to English Radio Barranquilla. Please complete your worksheet with your teacher's help. Gracias por escuchar a English Radio Barranquilla. Ahora puedes completar las actividades con la ayuda de tu profesor. Este es un programa realizado por la Alcaldía de Barranquilla y el Instituto de Idiomas de la Universidad del Norte, con el apoyo de Uninorte FM Stereo. Hace parte de la serie English Radio Barranquilla, que tiene una duración de 10 episodios. <música>